My name is Joel Crandall. I'm the owner, creator, and developer of the Voila Method. I want to take some time to uh, maybe answer some questions and talk about what Voila is and who I am. Um, so let's start with who I am. You may not know who I am or what I've been doing for the last 30, 35 years of my career. So uh, my name is Joel Crandall. I'm an exercise physiologist and kinesiologist. That's what my degree is in. Uh, also with teaching, uh, so physical education teacher. So I really understand movement and I have an eye for movement and how to work with movement. So that's really what uh, got me started uh, in the business. Uh, being an athlete myself, um, unfortunately, I had some... Uh, neck injuries, uh, head injuries that uh, ended my career, uh, which put me on my path that I'm on today. So I'm very thankful and grateful for, um, hard to say sometimes, but uh, thankful and grateful for uh, the head trauma that I had uh, to get me to where I am today because nothing that I've done, classes I've taken, nothing has helped me until I created Walla. And it's opened up a whole new me it's opened up a whole new world. So I want to share that with you. And that's why I go out and I teach these seminars is to share this information with you guys to help you and to help your clients and to help your friends. So that's why this was created. But one of the things I want to talk about, because some of the feedback I get, which is I, I just find hysterically funny, um, no matter what, I guess, religion you are, uh, some people have a problem with voila, and they're saying that um, it's the devil's work or it's Satan's work. And I'm going to tell you why I, this makes me laugh. Because what you don't understand is I got all this information after my mom passed away. So that's when all these downloads from my mom, God, however you want to put it, that makes you feel comfortable and safe. Um, that's where I got this information from. I had that connection uh, with my mother, and this is something she's always wanted me to do. So when you're saying that this is Satan's work, you don't realize you're calling my mom Satan. <laughs> Just think about that. Yes. Yes, you're calling my mom Satan. So good luck with that. Um, or they feel like, you know, Jesus was able to help heal people this way. I shouldn't be able to have that power. Well, that's also an interesting comment, isn't it? Because... And now I'm, I'm not a religious person. I'm not into man-made religions at all. I, I like learning about them. I think they're fascinating. But I don't follow an indoctrination of any type of religion. So, like I said, I'm going to share a little bit about myself and who I am. And when someone says that to me, it tells me a lot about themselves and how they interact with themselves and how they feel about themselves. They don't feel worthy of being able to help other people in a certain way that supposedly Jesus did. Which is counterintuitive to me because isn't that what Jesus wanted? He wanted to help others. He wanted to make people feel good, right? So your logic doesn't add up. It doesn't match up. So it's really, really interesting. So, so, so those are two sides of the coin that I get that, oh, my God, Jesus did that, so I, I shouldn't be able to do that. Or this is the other cute thing. They think I'm God, or they think that I think I'm God. And the work is absolutely, if you're paying attention, has nothing to do with me. I am just here as a vessel to share it and to teach it. And if you listen or watch any or read any of my posts or my writings, it's all about removing the I, 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 the me, me, me. 
And when I talk about voila, I don't talk about I. And if you also notice in a lot of the posts that I put up lately, it's other practitioners that have taken the course and it's their successes that they've had. It's not mine. It's their successes that they had. I mean, I feel proud of the successes that they've been able to accomplish and do and help people that they haven't been able to help before. So, I mean, that's cool. But the other thing you have to understand, again, I'll, we'll go back to my mom. I was a very good athlete. Still, still am, you know, for my age. Um, I broke school records and you know, one bodybuilding shows, etc. And the feedback I'd get from my mom was like, eh, good job. And it wasn't to put me down, and it wasn't in any uh, sort of way. It was just like, what I took from that is there's more. There's more about you than just that. So I don't get a big head when people try to blow smoke up my ass, I see it for what it is. It's either them trying to, you know, get one over on me or try to befriend me. And, and you know, that's fine. But I see through all that. It doesn't inflate me at all. So, again, that tells me more about you and your projection onto me. So you're going to see how this really works. So that's how I see through a lot of your bullshit. And that's, that's really what I do. <laughs> I will give anyone the opportunity and the openness to be themselves and to, you know, be a friend or whatever. Because eventually you will show up and you will show me who you really are. Or I'll see through you already. And it's not like I'm trying to. I'm giving you full opportunity, um, whether you like me or not, it doesn't matter. I really don't care. But you will show up and you will present your real face and I'll see it. So just a couple little quick things on that. Let's see, I have a couple of quick notes here because I can't, couldn't remember everything I wanted to uh, Recall, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing about... Sorry, I'm going to jump around a little bit because I didn't really write a script. Because that's not who I am. That's not what I do. I don't write scripts. So, if in the spiritual realm, if you feel like we're all connected, and I share voila with you, and I ask you to maybe post about it or hashtag voila method. And you're like, oh, I don't want to do that because, you know, I do this or I do that. Then you're not looking at we are all connected and we're all here to help each other. You are now taking the information that you have retained from me and keeping it for yourself. Very selfish of you, isn't it? How would you have liked it if I done that and never shared any of this with you and you weren't able to have the successes that you've had? Just think about things. Just think about things. And that's really what Voila is about. Is, is, and that's what Voila stands for, is there it is or there you are. So one of the intangibles or side effects that we that we say with voila is you will start to learn about yourself and you will either like it or you won't and it's okay if you don't like it because now you have the opportunity to change it it's that simple but what most people do is they take their ball and they run home they take the ball and they run home mine 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 I created this. And it's really cute. It, it's, it, it's, it's so infantile. Uh, if I really think about it, it's infantile. Yet you want to present on your social media that you're all connected and you're all into this spirituality. Yet it's all about you, which isn't about spirituality at all. 
So I'm a Gemini. Uh, if, if some of you guys are into astrology or whatever, uh, I don't care. I'm not. But that's one of the beauties of being a Gemini is you get to see a lot of different sides of everything. That's what we do. We're always thinking and, and looking at different angles, different sides of things. And some people will say it's a curse, and some people will say it's a blessing. All right? I think it's both. Um, it, it's fantastic. It's, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm the only one lives as a Gemini, so it's the only thing I know. But um, it's fascinating. It's really fascinating. I've had so many people take my course, and then they'll say, oh, well, I created this, or I did this, and oh, I'm doing it a little bit differently than Joel taught. Without the understanding that I am teaching to a common denominator in the class and only on the topics that I am to cover in that class. So they might have taken like level one or they might have taken level two and now they think they know everything. You don't. I haven't shared everything with you yet. I haven't. There's a natural progression to voila, and there's a reason for this natural progression of voila. So in level one, we basically are more working with you know understanding the protocol and using the protocol and and help you uh, get a better understanding of movement. And it's just been fascinating. On um, I've had so many people take the course that are movement experts and they know nothing about movement. They're, 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 they're not very good with movement. It's fascinating. So, again, my degree is in movement. So I have a vast knowledge of movement and how it works and, and what you're looking for. Um, quick side note on gait. It cracks me up because they want to hook people up to machines and watch them walk to get everybody this ideal gait. And gait is like a fingerprint. They're all different. And I've had people argue with me about that, and it's hysterical. I mean, if you think about watching the Olympics, you can tell which runner is whom by their gait. Right? That's how the announcer is able to tell who's on the other side of the track. You know, 100 yards away, spy their gait because they've been watching them for so long. So not all gait is the same, nor should it be. And you're going to have different gaits for different situations. Right? You're walking at the mall. Your gait's going to be different than if you're walking your dog or if you're walking with a friend. Or if you're carrying groceries, your gait is going to be different. It has to be different. So don't get stuck and it has to be with just one little thing. So a little bit more about Joel, me, the teacher, the developer. And I say developer because while I was constantly developing, because I'm constantly learning about voila and what it can do. And I think this is also what makes it hard for people to understand and grasp of uh, voila, even though you know I'm, I'm putting out posts on what it can do. It still may confuse people on what it really is. And the reason is, is you're trying to put it in a box that it has to be about just joint balancing or it has to be just about emotions or it has to be just about you know, fascial lines, uh, don't even get me started on those. Um, so it's hard for you to grasp something that's not in your box. And I've had marking the experts like, oh, you need to choose a lane. And I'm like, voila isn't in a lane. Voila is to help everyone. So I want to give you a kind of a spectrum of what I've, I've seen from what, what people that uh, I've been able to help and 
practitioners that have taken blah blah have been able to help. So I worked on a one day old baby and I was able to help them. The oldest, I think, if I can recall correctly, was 94. I think she was 94 and was able to help her. I was able to help her with her equilibrium and her balance. Um, I've been able to help people that have had strokes. I was actually in a physical therapy clinic where a severe stroke had come in and they were uh, getting him to walk again, which is fantastic. He was able to take one or two steps and then he had to sit back down. And I asked the physical therapist if I could uh, run a quick assessment and they, they granted me permission. So I ran a quick assessment and I made a little correction, uh, voila correction, um, to his head. And he got up and he walked to the end of the hallway, which was about 12 steps, and he had turned around. And he still couldn't speak yet, but he mouthed, thank you. And I was just freaking in tears. Um just to be able to see and witness that. And that's what's another interesting thing in the Voila Method. Uh, in the seminars, I don't call them miracles, but some practitioners or some attendees of the class, they may say that they witness miracles. And we've had some pretty amazing things happen in some of the Walla Method seminars. And yet they still won't believe what they've just seen. And that's okay. It, sometimes it takes time to understand. Or I had another chiropractor say that they needed to struggle with what they've learned in chiropractic school before they could do Walla. They felt it was necessary for them to Go through the struggle first. And, you know, that, that's fine. My whole goal in body work with the Walla Method is to help people quickly and efficiently. So why, why waste time? That, that's my whole thing. I, I don't like wasting time. And I've seen just incredible things with the Voila Method uh, in, in movement, in energetic and spiritual shifts. Um, I've watched people just look like they're getting younger right in front of my eyes. And don't get me started on anti-aging stuff. <laughs> Another oxymoron. Anyway, a little bit more about Joel Crandall and who he is. As I said, I grew up in a really small town, a tiny town of 700 people, and I think a parade was in town that day. Really small town. I mean, there's only five paved roads in the whole town. So I have that small town understanding without the small mind because I was constantly always looking and searching and I don't know, it was just an, an interesting childhood. I loved it because I was able to just explore and uh, but I knew I couldn't stay there. I knew that at a very young age I knew that. But one of the things that I want to share with you about me is I can't post like a uh, I could never think of Jewish space lasers shooting out their ass. That's just something I couldn't even think of. So with Voila, I'll never post a headline to get likes or to get, but just to get the people to, to push the button to see if this is something that they want to talk about or it's solely because something controversial. I can't do that. It's just not in my nature. It's not who I am. One of the things that I am is a person of integrity. Growing up, 
it's something my mom always ingrained in us. And she would always used to say this, responsibility. She always wanted us to take responsibility. And we had to take responsibility for where we were and who we were with. And we would have to come back and kind of report that with my mom because she would always have these questions for us when we came home. And we always knew that, so we would have the answers. But I'm a person of integrity. And the reason this is hard for some people is they are not coming from a place of integrity within themselves. So they don't like it when they see someone with integrity. They're like, oh, that can't be true. That can't be honest. Again, that's telling me more about you. Because I now know that you do not have integrity and honest with yourself. And you see this all the time of like, oh, I'm speaking my truth. I'm speaking my truth. When they have no idea what their own truth is or they can't see multiple sides of things. And that's a lot of things that what Walla does in some of the higher levels is to get you to be able to see multiple perspectives so you're not just stuck in one lane. And that's what happens when people, uh, their body starts being in pain is there's only one way of doing things or only one way of seeing things. That's, so that's why I don't like body work that only does one thing and looks at one thing like fascial lines or something like that. You are trying to coerce people into, you must be thinking this way and you must be thinking along this line, when that's not how the body works. Every rep you do in a squat or any type of exercise, each rep is different. And I mean, talk to any bodybuilder you want. They will tell you each rep is different. Each rep feels different. Why? Because physiologically, things are happening in your body in each rep. Things are happening in your mind on each rep. You're thinking differently, right? Your, your, um, your physiology is changing on each rep. So each rep is different, and the body will adapt accordingly to each adaptation it needs to perform that lift or that movement. It's really that simple. Okay? So that's why I say there are no patterns, because the pattern is always changing. Always. We are always changing. Right? This is what people were saying, oh, the body knows how to heal itself because it's constantly adapting and changing. But can it always just heal itself? No. No, it can't. Sometimes it needs a little help. Sometimes it needs a little help from yourself. Sometimes it needs a little help from others. Sometimes it needs a little help to see a different perspective. The other thing when people say is, you know, you must uh, understand or know your emotions before you can start to heal. <sighs> Partially true. But it's not necessary. The mind needs to know. The brain needs to know. But the spirit doesn't. It doesn't. Because it doesn't have words. It has feels. Okay? All emotions are is a way for us to communicate and to communicate with ourselves and to communicate with others. That's all it is. We are not our emotions. We are not. We have them, though they are a part of us, but that's it. It's a form of communication. And that's what voila is. It's the art of listening and, and being able to communicate. Now that being said, it does bring me to another point about myself. I am not a silver-tongued person. I am not a silver-tongued salesman. I'm not, I can't. It's just not in my DNA. I'm not big on selling things. It's either you get it 
or you don't. And I just, I, and I, and again, I try to explain things in many, many different ways uh, so you can understand something about yourself or about me. Because I'll always share something about myself in every seminar that I teach or every session that I do. Because I feel that's really important. It's part of a connecting with someone, but it's also a part of showing them that they're not alone, that maybe you have experienced it, or maybe they've experienced something that you have never experienced. And you can share that. that like I have no idea what you are feeling or going through right now, but I can still feel for you, and I can still feel with you, and I can still help you, but you're going to have to help me at the same time. Uh, what I mean by that is you're going to have to help me understand a little bit more so I can communicate with you on the level that you're feeling. Okay. So empathy is a big part of the voila method. And it's about learning and understanding that. But really listening to what people are saying, not necessarily the words, but how they're using the words and what they're saying in between the lines. That, that's really important. And that's what I call the art of voila. When you get to that point, you can hear what the person is saying, and then you can understand what they're really saying. And maybe that scares some of you a lot that I can do that or I do that. And I don't do it all like on purpose or like, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to find out about this person. I don't do that. I let you reveal yourself. I think that's the beauty of voila. It allows you to reveal yourself at the pace that you are ready to look at yourself. And this is why I feel, anyways, people get to a certain level of voila and they fall off. And it's not that they don't love voila because they still do it in their clinic or you know with, with their patients or clients. But there's so much hiding from themselves that if they go any further, they're not going to like what they see about themselves. And again, that's just a byproduct. That's not something that we go for in voila. I have people that will put me on a pedestal or like they'll put me as their spiritual guru. That's not what I'm doing here. I am teaching you the voila method in different levels so you can help yourself and become a better you. I'm not getting you to follow me and what I say. Who cares? It's about you and getting you better so we can be better as a collective. And that's what being all-encompassing, being all connected is about. Being the best version of you in that moment for everyone. Are you going to be successful at that all the time? Am I successful at that all the time? No, absolutely not. Human. We're human. And we're always learning. We're always adapting, right? We're always healing, right? So let's see a little bit more about me. Let's see. This is always not a great topic. You know, let's see. So I talked about. I was an athlete, I studied movement, always studied moving, even since, since a kid. I, I was always about studying movement, even though before I really knew what I was doing. I'm a person of integrity. I can't sell. I'm not silver-tongued to, to create um, a... See, I, you know, see, here's a perfect example. I can't do it. I can't make something up. Even though some of the posts that I put up, it feels like, oh, there, there's no way that that's possible. That has to be made up. But yet I've done it in front of your peers, body workers, doctors, chiropractors, physical therapists. I've done it in front of them. They've seen it. 
Some of them still don't believe it. Or don't feel that they're good enough to do it. When everyone is good enough to do it, which is going to bring me to a point, yes. Who can take the voila method? Anyone. You don't have to be a body worker. You don't have to be a chiropractor. You don't have to be a physical therapist. You can be in whatever profession or retiree, whatever you are at this moment. It doesn't matter. You can still take the voila method seminars. You can still do the voila method seminars. And you can still hold your own with anyone in the course if you have an open mind and an open heart to learn to learn the voila method to trust yourself to trust me that i created something that works um so let me share something with that real quick that just popped into my head so when I first started doing the voila method, I would practice on people to see if what I downloaded worked. And I had written uh, the workbook and I was getting ready uh, to teach the voila method. And I was working on my girlfriend at the time and something that I did didn't work. It didn't work for them. So this is what I did. And some people might think this is crazy, but this is what I did. I scrapped it. I threw it out. The whole thing that I've been working on, I scrapped it, threw it out, started all over again. And that's what I came up with, what I have today. So the different levels of the voila method. We have the physical aspects. Uh, this is what we call, uh, or I call, uh, the structural joint balancing. And you'll see people, they may not use voila, but they'll say, oh, I do structural joint balancing. It's the same thing. <laughs> so, because that used to be the name, voila method of structural joint balancing for level one. So the concept on that is, is you realign the joint structures so that the muscles can work efficiently. I don't work with muscles very often. Very, 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 very little. I can't even remember the last time actually I worked on a muscle because it's not necessary. So once you get the joint aligned, and there's many different ways of doing it. And this isn't a chiropractic thing. This is listening to the body because the body is telling you what it wants. You just have to ask specific questions and listen. It's telling you everything it needs. So this is why, yes, the body can heal itself, but sometimes it needs someone to help it along. Way to think of this is if you ever dislocated a finger, hopefully nothing else works. I mean, you could dislocate an elbow or a knee or whatever, a shoulder. It doesn't work very well, does it? I've dislocated my pinky, and it was sitting across here. My pinky was literally across. Took a line drive shot in a softball game. I could not move my finger. I couldn't move it. It was stuck over there until I moved it and put it back into its joint, and then I was able to move it. That's the basic concept of structural joint balancing, is you balance the joints in the body so that they can move effectively and efficiently. It's that simple, and it works. It works amazingly blows my mind sometimes so that's level one level two is we get into how to deeper communicate with the body 
how to listen to it, how to understand it, how to communicate with it. And that's the beauty of voila, is it makes you a better communicator. Or it can make you a better communicator. I, I know for myself, I look at posts that I posted, you know, 8, 10, 12 years ago, and I'm going, who was that guy? It's like, I don't even recognize him. Thankfully, I'm like not that person anymore. So if you think you know who I am from the past, you have no idea who I am. And I'm going to link in that integrity part. So I ran into an old friend of mine I hadn't seen in like 10 years. And we used to hang out quite a bit. And he's had some life get in the way. And I was, you know, out teaching and whatnot. So we, we lost contact. But we, we re, uh, reinitiated a, a friendship. And he's like, Joel, you are the same as you were then. And that tells me that you are a person of integrity. Yes, you've changed. Yes, you have, you know, grown, but the essence of you is still the same. It hasn't changed. And that's why I was trying to communicate earlier about, you know, not getting a big head or whatever, because I know who I am. And no matter if I help someone with just something that looks like a miracle and amazing, you know, tears may run down my face uh, out of excitement, uh, happiness for that person, and just sometimes just unbelievable, just, wow, that happened. And that's never changed. And I don't think it ever will change. It's just who I am. So, hopefully you made it this far. We're about 35, 30, 40 minutes in. <laughs> and kind of circuitous uh, into, into where we're meandering a bit. Uh, but I wanted to try to get this out of me. I'll put this out in a couple of different parts. Who knows? But... Um, I just wanted to share a little bit about voila and what it is and who I am in case you haven't met me or whatever. So I thought I'd introduce myself. I know it's been a long time coming for me in doing this, but voila method was downloaded after my mom passed away. Uh, there's another story behind that, but I really don't want to get into that in, in this uh, video right now because uh, I've already gone long. But um Hope that gives you a little bit of an understanding. So voila, it's just really there uh, for me to share with you so you can help yourself and you can help your clients and your friends feel better, move better, communicate better. And my goal is to change the world so it all can be a better place. I know. It's an extravagant goal, um, but I like I, I've been seeing the bigger picture of things, and that's where I'm at right now. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoy your day. I look forward to meeting you all at a Walla Method seminar, or I'm still doing sessions at my clinic, so feel free to. Come on in, experience voila. Um, I, I have friends that are like, well, well, I didn't think you still saw patients anymore or clients. I'm like, of course I do. I love this stuff and I love helping people. So why wouldn't I, even if I'm traveling around, which obviously I haven't been able to do in the last couple of years with COVID, but why would I stop seeing clients? No, I'm still, I'm still open and still open to seeing clients. So come on in. And uh, let's have some fun. All right, guys. Have a great day.